Hello, Foundationeers. Uh, so, uh, I guess this is the first time you've heard my voice, so I might as well just uh, take the opportunity to say thank you for joining the forums and welcome to the Foundation Collective Forums. Um, this is such an awesome game. <laughs> I don't like the word awesome, but you know, it is. There's just something special about it. Um, so, I had a request to show how I got this little fella over here, this tower, so far away from any other church buildings. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but I'll go through it in a second. I uh, just gotta wait for this new building to, to finish. I'll show you around whilst it finishes. We've got some Gibraltar style defense systems with a little doorway in. Well, Sheeps and windmills on the hills and my port which I've been done a little bit more work to. I've got a little market building inside the port now. Selling all the wares. Oh, hello. A few little bits and bobs going on in there. Um, from what I hear from the devs, at some point in the future we should be able to build on bridges. That will be useful. Oh, nearly done be there in a minute. So what I want to do is put a load of towers along this wall but I don't want to do them within the tight confines of a church. I'm going to use the church tower. What I'll do in a minute is I'll carry on editing from this tower here which is all part of a church and use that as my starting base. You can start a brand new church if you want to and use that but I'm going to use what's already existing just to make life easier. Graveyard. Weird church. I'm not entirely sure what I did with that. My little market square. Oh, look at them. Aren't they cute? Sorry, this is taking slightly longer than I expected to finish this tower here. Now I have noticed with these bridge pieces I tried earlier and put a bit of a marina with three bridge pieces that caused the game to crash. There's some kind of issue with bridges right now that the game doesn't like. Hey, there we go. Right, so let's just pause that for a minute. So as I said, we want a few towers along here. So you can start a new church or you can building or whatever monument pieces you're going to use or use an existing bit. Do remember if you use an existing bit at the moment you can't delete the parts that you add. It deletes everything. So anyway, let's edit that. We want to basically create ghost buildings all the way along which will give me the freedom to build where I want to. So using extension A, using extension A, we're going to put a load of ghost buildings in all the way along this wall. Doesn't matter where they go, just as long as they're on the furthest arc. Talk about she sells for a second. So we've got a load of ghost buildings. This gives me the ability now to put a tower in anywhere I want to along this wall. Which I will do. Now one thing to remember, I will show you what I mean at the end, but make sure you've set them exactly right, because once you place them, you won't be able to move them afterwards. Obviously once they've been built, you won't be able to move them, but you also won't be able to move them whilst editing. So get them exactly where you want. Do I add a door? I add a door to that one. Uh, so I can put it absolutely anywhere. Where do I want it? Stick one in there.
and I'll put one more in, I think. Okay, I can add those afterwards anyway if I want to, so I'll leave it at that. So, with the towers in place, what I'll do is put an extra one in, which I'm not going to want later, but if I did, let's say I put that in, but didn't quite put it at the right height, want to change it after. Now, just go back through, delete in all the ghost buildings that you don't want. So just right click on them to make them disappear. Okay. So now, oh yeah, I forgot this one. I needed to make it a little bit higher. Uh, try and make it a bit higher. No, I can't. You click on it and it moves it. And it's in the arc of whatever is the nearest building. So make sure you've got them set before you start to build. That'll do. And start the construction. Off they go. Now in a few minutes, what I'll probably do is stick an image of the final picture on the forums. Now because I used an existing building, it doesn't matter where these are built. They can be right out in the water, they'll still get built. If you start with a new building and start it out in the water, it won't get built. Um, they have to have access to at least one piece of the existing building, which is why it's usually easier to start building with a piece that's already been built previously. There we go. Building away. Oh, hey, hello. Hey. Looks like we've got some pathfinding issues here. Pretty good at climbing the hills, though, aren't they? Use the bridge issue for Anyway, this is work in progress. It's going to be a big manor building here at some point. A castle over here on the edge. Unless the devs make it so I can't use the save game, but you know, we shall see. Well, looks like these buildings are going up pretty quick. Last one's going up. Ta -da! There we have it. Nice long stretch of defense wall. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, hope that's straightforward. I'll maybe redo some of my previous videos. I need to redo these farms, they're a bit of a mess. Sheep farms are in the wrong place, should be in the centre, not at the edge. Have to redo that. But yeah. I'll speak to you guys all very soon.